right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Sminify Podcast. This is episode number five already, which is, I don't know, I say it's crazy like every week, but like the awesome thing about these podcasts, for those of you who don't know, who are new to the podcast, this is my weekly show, is that I actually started these when I committed to uploading a video like every single day. So for the last five weeks, I've been uploading a video every day. And for the last like five weeks, I now have a podcast to go look back and evaluate each week individually, which is just awesome. And I'm really happy that I decided to start this podcast. And I think it's going pretty well. Uh, but anyways, we're back today solo because we're back at like 11 o'clock because that's when we decide to record these things. But for any who are new out there, this is the Spinify Podcast. We record these once a week. And if, you know, my goal is just go sit down, play a game of Minecraft, play some zombies, and just enjoy the show. Uh, I, I mean, right now we're all quarantined. We don't really have anything to do. But last week I kind of had a big week. I mean, I think I gained another 100 subscribers, which is just awesome. Thank you guys so much for that, by the way. Oh, my God, it's incredible. I was watching my one of my old, on my old YouTube channel. And it was my 300 subscriber special video. And in the video, I was like, what started a year and a half ago? No one thought it would ever grow. And I was like, my like 12 year old self was so happy with the fact that I gained like 300 subscribers in a year and a half. And now I've managed to hit 300 subscribers in like three or four or five weeks, which is just awesome. I thank you guys so much. It's awesome. And you guys are so supportive, man. Oh my God. There's so many supportive comments and I just appreciate it so much. It's really, it's always what I want to see. And like, I say that a lot, but it's just, it remains true all the time. So, thank you guys. This is my weekly podcast. I just sit on here, talk about things. I get guests on, and yeah, I mean, there might be new faces. There might be a new couple people, so I had to say that. And hopefully I didn't say the word podcast a thousand times in this intro. I can't remember what I said, but I tend to do that a lot, so I'm going to try to stay away from that word, and I get laughed at it, so that's enough of that. But anyways, man, like, contrary to many other people out there, I think I had a pretty productive week this week, like... Everybody else was just sitting in quarantine. We didn't really know what to do, but I think I learned many things in this past week. And I got to get into those because they're pretty, they're pretty big things. They're mainly just about my YouTube channel, which I'm starting to gain respect for people who can do like hundreds of episodes of podcasts. I'm starting to realize how difficult they are to do, like Joe Rogan, Smith Plays, all these people that can do like hundreds of episodes of these things. And it, it, I'm now starting to realize how difficult it is to sit down and talk for an hour. And then just imagine doing that like over a hundred times. It really blows my mind that they've managed to do that. But maybe someday I'll be able to do that and like... I'm already on episode five and I feel like the episodes are getting repetitive. Like I'm just talking about my YouTube channel and like maybe that's getting boring for you guys, but like nothing else is going on in the world right now before, besides coronavirus. And I mean, you guys definitely don't want me to talk about that. So this is where we're at, we're at my YouTube channel and let's talk about it because there's a couple things I learned about, just learned about this week for making YouTube videos and well, man, wow, I really just had a blank there, but anyways, we'll get into it. All right. So two big things I took away from this week, <clears throat> moving forward with my YouTube channel, Smitty058. <sighs> Time management, man, that that is a big one. So this week was the first week of online schooling, and I made the decision to <laughs> pretty much just save all my assignments till like Thursday, Friday to get done. I spent Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday just grinding, making videos. Like since we're quarantined and all of us are just sitting at home, like my only goal for the day pretty much is to get a YouTube video done. That's literally about it. That, that's that's pretty much my only goal. I mean, now, next week, I'm moving forward. I'm going to be getting my homework assignments done, but I literally, last week, I just didn't care about school at all. I just waited till Thursday, Friday, and I had a couple late assignments, and that was just a big rip, but I got everything done, because like I say, I get stuff done if I, if I want to get it done, but nevertheless, a few assignments were due on like Monday, and I waited till like Friday to turn them in, but the thing I learned about time management, man, is if I want to upload a video every single day, it's going to eventually get very, very difficult because like the truth is, man, summer's coming. And when summer's coming, I'm going to have to help my dad out on the farm and I might have to put in like some 15 like hour days. And there's no way I'm going to have the time to make a YouTube video. If I have to put in like a 15 hour workday on the farm, and I'm really wondering how I'm going to adapt to that because I really want to continue to upload a YouTube video every single day for you guys. I really think I made that commitment. I want to keep going with it. And I, I checked today, actually, and I was very surprised. I made that commitment 41 days ago already, 41 days, which is, that's incredible because it's gone by so quick, but I, I've uploaded 41 videos, more than 41 videos, even. There's a couple days where I've uploaded two videos, but uh, 41 days, like, I never even thought I'd be able to do that, and here I am, 41 days in a row with at least one video uploaded every day, and that's awesome, and I want to keep that up, but uh, time management, man, school is more important. I got to get my school assignments done, and then if I, if, oh, okay. The thing about last week, which I'm posting this on a Monday, the thing about last week, which was my first online school day, the days where I prioritized school first, where I just grinded out school all day, I had to post like 
a Minecraft tutorial video for you guys. And to be honest, when I post those Minecraft tutorial videos for you guys, I feel so bad. Like, I, I really feel like they're just not what you guys want to see at all. I mean, like, they help some people, and that's great. And that's why I like posting them. And they're really easy to make, which makes me sound lazy. But I really just... I feel disappointed when I have to post those because I feel like people, you know, they'll come back, they'll check out the video and they'll be like, oh, it's, it's a Minecraft tutorial video. Nobody asked for this. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. And I feel like you guys want to see more of my well-edited videos. And that's what I want to make too. But like time management, man, I have to manage school and I have to manage YouTube and I have to, that's really all I have to manage now. I don't really have anything else going, but at the beginning I had to manage basketball. Pretty soon I have to manage like working on the farm. It's going to be so much to do. And uh, the thing about today, man, I've been thinking about this for like the last week, but today I was editing my 300 subscriber special video. And for the first real time, I just sat there and I was like, I'm actually just burned out right now. I can't keep going. I'm so sick of editing a video every single day. And I was actually, oh, I was actually burned out. Like, you know, when you just get like so out of it and your brain just stops thinking and you just sit there looking at things instead of actually getting them done. That's pretty much the stage I was at to making the video. So I sat there for like 20, 30 minutes just contemplating like, wow. Oh, I'm really not enjoying this at all, and I don't know, I was just so burned out, man, from making videos, and I, oh, that's not good, that's not good to already be getting burned out, and, mm, man, I'm really, I'm really hitting blanks today, wow, I'm really just going on a tangent and just forgetting where I'm at, but yeah, man, and I was making the 300 sub special, and like, I really didn't enjoy making any part of that video, and I was talking with a friend recently on Dis or yeah, Discord, I think, and he told me, like, me and him, we both edit videos, and he told me, I like editing videos and I start off and I'm having fun, but then I, as I get to the end, I just, I start to hate my life and I just want to hurry up and have the videos be done. And I just, so my editing just falls off in the end. And I related to that statement so well, man, because literally the 300 subscriber special video, I, I was, I kind of enjoyed the first making like the first 30 seconds of it. But then after that, it really just got old and I just got, oh my God, I just got burned out, man. And I don't want to be having that feeling already of being burned out. I don't know why I have that feeling. Okay, well, here's the thing. While I was making the video, I had the feeling of being burned out. I just, I hated every single second of making it. It was, I thought the video was terrible, but it, it did decent. It's pretty well received by you guys, which is awesome. I really appreciate that. But like, while I was making the video, I was very burned out. But now that the video is made and you guys are giving like good feedback and stuff. And we started the Discord server, by the way. Go check the Discord server out if you want. Like, we have God in there. It's really lit. Get in there. But like, now that you guys are giving feedback on it and stuff, I really, I kind of just forgot about how burned out I was. So now I'm just... Like, like I said last time, man, making YouTube videos, editing them really isn't all that much fun, but when you guys comment and leave good reviews and watch the video and likes, and that's awesome, it really cancels out the boredom. And I really saw that work today because I hated every single second of making the 300 subscriber special video, which is just, which is terrible because it's the 300 subscriber special video. I'm supposed to be enjoying this and like, oh my God, I don't want to make it sound like, like I don't appreciate you guys. Like you guys are the only reason that I'm grinding out a video every single day. The feedback is awesome. But for the first time, I really just felt, I just felt worn out. I feel like I've said that 50 times already, but I just have to add emphasis on that. It's true, man. It's very true. These YouTube videos take like hours. They literally take hours out of a day. And since like some, I'm going to have to get back to normal life sometime. I'm going to have to balance out YouTube and normal life somehow. And I think it's going to be difficult, but I think I'm going to find a way because when I started my upload, uh, uploading every day, it was like five, four, four weeks ago, I think. And I was balancing like basketball and basketball and like actual school going to physical school and and like everything else and now all I have to do is like I don't have to go anywhere all day pretty much I'm, I'm actually encouraged not to go anywhere all day and like the channel's going off but someday we're gonna have to go back to normal life and I'm really wondering how I'm gonna adapt to that and I I'm gonna stay committed I'm gonna upload a video every single day because it's working out for me but here's the thing I think I think uploading like a well edited video every day is it's asking too much of me because, like, those videos take so long to make. So I was thinking of implementing, like, an upload schedule of some sort. And I like, okay, this podcast is going to come out tomorrow on Monday. Monday, what's the date today? All right, you're going to be watching this on Monday, April 6th. It's probably going to come out at, like, 10 a.m. That's probably when. And, I okay, I want to make, like, an upload schedule. I'm thinking, all right, because, like, all right, we're thinking a podcast on Sunday every single week. Monday, Monday would have to be, like, a well-edited video because... People don't really like Monday, so I'd want to make a good video on Monday. Tuesday would be like, I don't know, like a viewer suggested video, a Minecraft tutorial video. Like those videos are much easier to make. So maybe one of those. Wednesday, 
maybe like a Wednesday night stream. I'm only thinking one one day out of the week I should stream because I mean streaming is really easy, but like it saves me time, man. Because streams can only be like two hours long and then they're just automatically uploaded. They don't take very much work as opposed to making a video which takes like five hours. So yeah, I think one day out of the week I need to just stream and upload that as a video, which makes me feel really lazy when I just upload a stream and count it as a video for the day. But I might have to start doing that just because if I continue to edit videos all day, every single day, I'm just going to get so old and it, eventually it's just going to kill me and I'm just going to lose all passion and it, it's not good. And like, I, I like putting a lot of effort into my videos. Like it literally hurts me to upload like a Minecraft tutorial video because like I said, I really think you guys aren't going to like that at all. I mean, some of them really go off, but some of them, some of them, I just feel like you guys are just disappointed. You just like shake your head. Oh, <laughs> and like nobody asked, nobody wants to see this. We want to see like, I don't know, well edited Roblox zombies, Minecraft, anything. And then ah, I just feel disappointed when I do that. And I hate that feeling. But once again, it's the thing that might have to happen if I want to upload every day, just because simply editing like a well edited video every day, it takes so much time. Like it takes so much time. And it's really starting to get to me, get to me recently because if I do that every day, it, it really takes a lot out of me. So yeah, that's where I'm at, man. I just, I want to keep uploading every day. I want to keep uploading good content, but it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, especially when it's normal life resumes and I have to work long days. I'm really wondering how I'm going to make it work. I'm thinking like I live stream and then I save the live stream as like a private video and then I upload it if I'm not going to be able to get a video up. Say I'm working in the summer, I upload it if I'm not going to be able to produce a video that that day and then I'll just upload a, re, a past live stream which sounds really lazy in my opinion but that like that might have to be what it comes to man because like yeah I'm gonna have to definitely work on the farm and some days are gonna be like 15 hours and there's no way I'm gonna be able to make a video in that much time and unless I just want to absolutely grind and you know what sleep sleep's overrated we don't need that so <laughs> but yeah man I'm gonna have to figure something out so I'm thinking an upload schedule might be coming like nothing set in stone in this podcast obviously these are just ideas that I'm bouncing off you guys we're not really bouncing off you guys just saying but yeah but I think an upload schedule is eventually gonna have to be coming because like somebody in the comments recently as well asked me like when's my next live stream and I was like I don't really know I kind of just live stream whenever I want so I mean it's definitely good to like tell people what they know when it's coming but then the bad thing about that is like what if I only upload like my schedule is one live stream a week and that's all people care about so then they're just gone for the entire week and then they just come back for the live stream and then eventually they just forget about the channel that's what I don't want to fall into so it's very difficult to manage like again my goal is to just be the YouTube channel where you can see like every single gaming community here and we can just represent everybody but like that's is that even possible to do on one channel like maybe big YouTubers have tried this before and they just know that it doesn't work out that's why every big YouTuber has like a second gaming channel because it just doesn't work out like this and I really want to find a way to get it to work out, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It's going to be difficult, but you never know. I, I believe, I think there's a way, and I think all the bigger YouTubers before me have kind of tried it, but they've realized that it doesn't work. But I'm going to stay true to it. I'm going to stay true to it. I'm going to try to get it done, and we're going to try to upload everything here. And Yeah, but hmm, an upload schedule is going to have to be coming for sure. Definitely. Man, And, like, one other thing I've definitely realized this week is, like, I have this newfound respect... Maybe not. Maybe I have this newfound understanding of like bigger YouTubers, the feeling they get when they like post videos. And okay, like the way I go, like I posted a video I think this week sometime, and it had like way less likes, way less views in like the first hour. And I just immediately thought, oh, this video's a dud. Everybody hates it. I'm, I'm extremely disappointed in myself. And I just pictured, what if like I was a big YouTuber, like those guys who make livelihoods off their YouTube videos. And this is the result I saw, like a very low, low rated video. It's not bringing in a lot of likes, not a lot of views. I would be like freaking out. So I really found a new respect for those guys. I can see why those guys care so much about their views and stuff because it really hits me now that people actually watch my videos. When I make a video, I either feel like I'm letting people down or I'm entertaining them. And it really just hit different. Like <laughs> this video is getting many views and like, oh, it really helps me show what you guys like to see, obviously, but I want to get you guys what you want to see, but sometimes that takes a lot of work and a lot of time, and I don't have that much time. And, like, <laughs> even for, like, my mental health, I need to take it easy on the editing videos because I get so bored, and I just want to do so many other things. But, yeah, man, it's very it's a very difficult balance, and I'm going to continue through this. I'm going to keep learning about it. That's why I love having this podcast, so I can just come on here and say what I want. And it's really it really is a lot of fun to connect personally with you guys and listen to this and get your guys' takeaways. Oh, man, it's... It really is a lot, dude, and 
Now we have to manage the Discord. I started a TikTok channel. If you want to go check out the TikTok, that's probably not in the description yet, but it's coming. I'm updating everything. I'm getting this. I'm getting everything reworked here, revamped. We got a new description coming. But yeah, man. Oofta. And then oh, another thing I realized this week. All right. I realized like people's drive to always get better. Because here's the thing. Like at the beginning of this week, I had like 200 subs, and I was like, "Oh, let's go, 200 subs. That that's awesome." And like I don't I don't know how to say this without sounding like I really appreciate you guys. I right, I just I just gotta put that out there. But like, don't take this the wrong way. But like, I get 200 subs, and I'm like, "That's awesome." But we gotta keep going. That's not enough. I can keep going. I'm better than this. And I just oh, and then I hit 300 subs. And I'm like, "All right, that's awesome. That's awesome." But like, I just had this motivation that I gotta keep going. I'm better than this. And like 300 subs, that's not my cap. And I'm really wondering, like, those people who are way at the top, like PewDiePie, he's got like 100 million subs, does he also have that motivation to just keep going to get more people? I mean, if everybody already knows about you, do you have motivation to keep going, to keep getting new people to the channel? Or do you, I don't really know what, what's your drive, just the fact that everybody knows you, everybody relies on you. And, like, man, I just realized, like, 300 subs, that's awesome. But I got to keep going. I, gotta, I can't stop here. I got to keep grinding. Like, I respect this. It's awesome that you guys did this for me. But I got to keep going. And it's, it's really interesting. It's really been something that's shown this this week that I got to keep going. I got to keep grinding. Like in one of my first episodes of the podcast, I think episode zero, I was like, oh, if I just grow like one or two subs a day, that would be awesome. That, that's all I want. And like, if I grew like one or two subs now, man, I would, I don't think I'd be happy with that. I think I'm, be, I think I'm better than one or two subs a day. And I really disagree. See, I'm already disagreeing with my podcast, which is the point. That's good stuff. So looking back on that first episode, I said one or two subs a day, that's all I want, and then I'm happy. And I wouldn't be happy with that today. I really wouldn't. I want like 10 a day. That, that That's a good goal for right now. That's what I'm happy with right now. And then maybe like five podcasts from now, I'll be looking back like 10 subs a day, that's all you want. <laughs> that's pathetic. But no, 10 subs right now is crazy. I'll take 10 subs a day. That's amazing. 10 new faces, 10 new people come to the channel every single day. If I can keep that rate right now, that's that's all I can ask for. That's incredible. And it's really interesting to see how much I've grown already from the first episode of the podcast, from going from one to two subs a day. I mean, I put that into perspective. I think I had like 20 subs when I started the started the podcast because I think the podcast was actually a 20 subscriber special. So yeah, I started this when I had 20 subs, and now I have 300. Oh my god, that oh, that's incredible, guys! Oh my god, thank you guys so much. Holy crap, that's awesome. And oh, another thing I realized on my channel, man, is like pretty much all my videos perform the same like they end up performing the same like maybe they start out a little slower but in the end they're all going to get like about the same amount of likes about the same amount of views which is awesome because that's that's my goal man i i want you guys to like enjoy all the content i produce if it's on a bunch of different games and a bunch of different topics like podcasts this will this will hopefully do just as well as like maybe not as well as a funny moments video it'll be a little worse but like it'll be up there it'll be pretty good and i really I'm really happy that that's happening. I'm really, really happy that's not that that's happening. And like, if I upload like a zombies video, those do really well. And it's good that if I then go upload like a Roblox video, those will do terrible. Like, it's good that's not my scenario. It's good that I uploaded my Roblox video, which is like my f most viewed video in like 10 hours. It had like the most views in 10 hours, which was absolutely awesome because it was a game that I haven't played in months, in like a month. And you guys just really watched it a lot, which is just incredible. And I really appreciate that, that you guys are enjoying like all the content. So, Maybe not the Minecraft tutorials, though, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, those are just, like, if you want to know if I'm, like, taking a day off to make a good video, like, make it, a Minecraft tutorial video is a quick video that I can make, and, like, quick for me is, like, one hour or two hours, so <laughs> putting that into perspective, like, putting, like, one or two hours even into it, one or two hours a day into making YouTube videos still sounds like a lot, but, like, when you compare that to, like, the well-edited videos, those things take six, seven, ten hours, like, What's the recent video I made? I made the recent, oh, what, what is it? Oh, geez. oh, the thank you to the zombies community. That video probably took like nine, ten hours to make, including getting all the footage. Man, that takes a long time getting all the footage. And putting it together, that was probably like a nine, ten hour process, which is a lot, but I, I spread it out over multiple days. I mean, if I grinded that all out one one day, I think I'd probably just fall over and die, to be honest. That would be, that'd be absolutely terrible. I couldn't even imagine doing that. Like, like <laughs> that would be my hell, sitting sitting. Like, if Satan made me edit, like, here you go, here's 60 hours of footage, go go edit this 60-hour video, That that's my that's my vision of hell, that would be absolutely terrible, I would hate that so much. <laughs> that would drive me insane, that would drive me to the point that I would just fall over and die. But yeah, man. Let's see what else we got here, upload schedule, summer's coming, man, summer is coming. 
And when the summer when the summer comes, we're gonna get busy. And how are we gonna respond? How are we gonna respond to that adversity? As my bet once, my ex basketball coach once told me, how am I gonna respond to that adversity? And we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see when the summer comes. Am I gonna be able to keep the upload schedule going? I better be able to. <laughs> I hope so. But yeah, but yeah, man. Let's see, advertise. Wow, dude, how do I get through all these bullet points? I thought these were some deep topics, but I got through them all in like 20 minutes. God, this is so difficult. See, now, now I choked because I have nothing to get to. And yeah, no, I, don't, I really don't want to do ask credit for like 40 minutes because that I did that last episode. This is what I'm talking about, man. Podcasts, they are so difficult to do. I got so much respect for people who do these things, man. Like finding new topics to explore or just... It's like talking about the same subject and sounding original multiple times, man. It really is a talent. It really is. It's it's so difficult to keep going for an hour here. And Joe Rogan, he goes for multiple hours in a podcast. That, I mean, he's got some pretty crazy guests on. But nevertheless, I mean, we're we're very unprofessional. I mean, I just got a chair with a backrest. Like that's a big accomplishment. <laughs> the first four or five, the first four, three, four episodes, I had just a, a chair without a backrest. And we're making improvements here at the Smithify Podcast. So yeah. That's it, man. Oh, wow. I really choked here. Huh. Yeah, man. This is why podcasts are so overwhelming. You got to sit down and talk for one hour and try to keep people entertained. And I'm 21 minutes and 19 seconds in, bro. And I got, I'm all out. I'm all, I really don't want to do ask at it, but I, all right, well, you guys got the gist of this podcast. This is kind of all the main reasons. I just, I had this feeling today that I'm burned out. And it was, it was like the hardest feeling so far that I've ever had on the YouTube channel that I'm burned out and tired of making videos. And I really thought, well, making that video, this video is just going to, I'm just going to up. I thought I would just give up. I thought I would just give, I was like, oh my God, this video sucks. I'm just going to upload it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to quit at the end. Like I had the first like three minutes done and it's like a six minute video. And at the end I was just like, all right, we're just going to let the end play out. I'm just going to throw some music in the background and we're just going to upload it. Call it good. I hate doing this. Okay, well, then I actually went back and I, like, reworked it. And I don't know where that second motivation came from, but, like, before I uploaded it, oh, no, I don't work. It's because I'm, per- I'm a perfectionist, right? I'm a perfectionist. I go back to my SWOT analysis that I did in my leadership class. I put one of my weaknesses as being a procrastinator, which is definitely true. And then another, but I put one of my strengths, a, 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 a perfectionist. That's one of my strengths. I want the video to just be perfect. I couldn't, in my mind, I was constantly just telling myself, all right, you got to just upload this thing. Just throw some music over the background. It'll be fine, like people got the enjoyment out of the first three minutes that's all they need and then my perfectionist side was like no you got to keep going you got to add a couple edits here at the end and we got to have a decent ending at least and I mean I still think I slacked at the ending a little bit but at least I like added some edits and I didn't just play music over the background which I kind of did but I I edited it over it and I did I made it a lot better than it was going to be I'm really happy with myself for doing that man that's that's the good that's the good side of me that's the good perfectionist side of me the procrastination side of me is the bad side but we already went over that a couple of podcasts ago but yeah, man, I really hated making that video every single second of it. And it was, uh, that sounds like a terrible thing to say. I'm, once again, it's the 300 subscriber special. I thank you guys so much. It was a fun, it, it wasn't a fun video. It was a fun video to record though. I enjoyed playing the gameplay, but editing, oh my God, it was terrible. I hated it so much, but it came out a decent video. And thank you guys so much. I'll just, I'll just put it behind me because the, the feedback, once again, it cancels out all that negative feeling that I had towards the video. It canceled it all out, and now I'm just feeling fresh again, and I'm just feeling great. So thank you guys. You guys really motivate me. But yeah, plans for the future. Once again, keep the upload schedule going, man. One video every single day. That's the goal. That's what we got to keep going. Oh, I told my friend this. I told one person this. Before the summer, before like the end of May, it would be awesome if I could have a 1,000 subscribers by then, which is how far away is that? What is it? Holy crap. That's only in like two months. It's currently April 5th. Oh. <sighs> Am I going to be able to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of May? That seems very ambitious. I mean, maybe. Oh, my God. That, oh, oh, my. I couldn't even imagine having 1,000 subscribers still. That would be incredible. But nevertheless, I told one of my friends, you're going to have, or I'm going to have 1,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel before the end of May. And I don't really know where that came from. He was just telling me, like, wow, you're actually taking this YouTube thing pretty seriously. I was like, yeah, man, I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun, and people are watching, so I'm going to keep going. And I just told him out of nowhere, I was like, I'm going to get 1,000 subscribers before the before the end of, in, or before the summer. And I don't really know where that kind of number came from, but I, I think it's a decent number. I think it's obtainable, but it's it's pretty ambitious, man. It's going to be awesome, especially once things return to normal and I'm going to have to find a way to get around time management and scheduling things. It's going to be difficult, but I think, I think I'll be able to pull it off, I hope. And like, oh my, 
imagine if I upload a video every single day throughout the summer, dude. Think of the growth there. Because, like, the summer, man, what are people going to do? They're going to be looking up, like, YouTube videos, zombie videos. There's going to be a lot of people just, just trying to find YouTube videos. And that's that's a great time for, like, gamers, probably gaming YouTubers. But it's also a very hard time to record for me because I'm going to be very, very busy. There's going to be a lot of things going on in the summer. But, yeah. And it's... It's one of those things, but I think I'm committed enough where I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to upload every single day. And I, th- I think I think I got it. I think I got it handled. But well, like I said, some of the days they might be like lazy uploads, I'll call them. Like just a Minecraft tutorial video again or like a live stream, which I really don't want to do that now, but I might have to just to save me time because I got so many things going on. And I, I really just do feel so lazy when I upload like a live stream. I haven't done it yet, but if I just... Up, do a live stream and call that the video for the day. Dang, that makes me feel so lazy. But yeah, I feel like I've repeated myself like 50 times already in this episode. That's what happens, man, when you run out of bullet points. I thought these were some pretty deep topics, but yeah, man. I went through them pretty quick. Well, I, have, I have this newfound respect for people who make podcasts. Yeah, we did that. Podcasts are overwhelming. Yeah, we did that. I'm currently trying to keep it going. Because oh, the thing, I got to get these podcasts to an hour and one minute at least. That's what they're all at. And you know, I. I'm a perfectionist. It has to be an hour and one minute. If it, if I see four podcasts that are an hour and one minute long, and then I just see one that's like 52 minutes, like that's going to make me go crazy for the rest of the time. It needs to be an hour and one minute. So I need to carry this out however long. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to go to ask Reddit, which is going to get boring, but because I, I just had an entire episode on ask Reddit, but you know, I'm sorry guys, you, you got the main gist of this episode. <laughs> Once again, I kind of do this podcast for myself. Like, I do it for you guys, too, to connect personally, but, like, the main reason is for myself, man. I, I'm looking at them to re- self-reflect, and I'm already self-reflecting on the first episode, episode zero, which is awesome, because that means that, that shows that these podcasts are working. So that's good stuff. But, yeah, there's, I've already got, like, a whole bunch of people that kind of have asked to be on the podcast, and I kind of have a couple guests lined up. I think we're going to have a pretty cool guest on next week. And he's also said he's going through the same problem as me. We're balancing, he's in college, he's balancing his college time and his YouTube time, and I... Yeah, that both of us have like great potential, I think, and we're both balancing school, which is interesting. So I think it'll be interesting to sit down and talk with him about that. But yeah, that's for next week. And then, oh yeah, the religion episode's got to be coming soon. We'll get on that. I told that was supposed to be like a week or two ago, but we're getting on it. We're getting on it. That's gonna be a deep episode, I hope. But yeah, man. <laughs> People's drives from our YouTube vids take hours, as always. I'm absolutely happy with what I've got. Pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Wow, I actually did get all this. Huh. Let's go to the future pen. Summer's coming. Wow, that was like 30 bullet points. How, man? How? All right, well, we're going to have to go to Ask Reddit for 30 minutes. I really don't want to. Like I said, I feel like it's getting very repetitive in the podcast where I talk about the exact same things. But then again, man, I'm doing it for myself. And if any of you want to be a guest out there and you want to come on the podcast, like once again, I'm open to any ideas. Just leave leave a comment down down below and be like, hey, I want to hop on the podcast. I'll get you in here. I'm, I'm down for anybody, man. I'm down for anybody. God, if you're listening, drop drop a comment, man. <laughs> I'll get God on the podcast. God's a dude from our, our Discord. Go, go join the Discord, please. Link in the description. <laughs> the Discord's actually lit, and if you want to stay updated, that's where you got to go. But yeah, man. Wow. I really thought that'd be longer, but without any further ado, and without any further stalling, which is what I've been doing here, as I go in and I pull up Ask Reddit. Ooh. All right, let's get into it, dude. Let's let's get into Ask Reddit, which I just did an entire episode on this. See, this just this feels like bad content now. And the thing is, man, I'm definitely this is gonna be the Monday video. This is all I'm gonna put out on Monday because I just need a break after today. I'm just like I just need a break, man. I'm just gonna upload a podcast on Monday. And I don't know if that sounds like lazy to you guys, but to me, just uploading a podcast in one day it seems really really lazy because I. I'm just not happy with the product if I didn't put a lot of work into it. Like podcasts do take a lot of work, but not like a lot of like editing work. Like they're just sit down for an hour and what happens happens. Whereas like a video is like what I want, like what I said, like eight hours of editing and it really is a grind. Podcasts are a grind, but they're done and over with in like an hour. And that really makes me feel lazy when I upload them for an entire day. But I'm, I'm going to have to take a break tomorrow if uploading, uploading one podcast is a break, but that's going to be my break. And I'm going to hopefully get a, pretty decent video for you guys on Tuesday and then we should get a well edited video on Wednesday and then I don't really know like that's what I need to make a schedule so you guys actually know what to expect but yeah that's what I'm going with all right what's something what's something you'll never understand unless you experience it firsthand all right 
I talked, oh my God, I really talked about this last week too. I'm telling you, it's getting repetitive, but here it is. It's, it's something, it's kind of weird. It's being a blind person, all right? Something I'll never understand unless I've experienced it. Like, okay, we've probably all seen like those blind videos where the blind people answer questions because we're all fascinated with, oh wow, that was kind of gross, with blind people questions. And one of the questions was like, what do you see? Do you just see black? And the guy was like, no, I, I don't just see black. I see, I, I don't see color, but I can just detect light. And I was like, that, that makes absolutely no sense. How can you not see anything and detect light? And like, I've always just thought like black people are not black. Jesus. All right. No. <laughs> blind people that blind people just see black, but that's not the case, man. They just, I don't know what they see. I can't under, I can't comprehend it. I won't, I won't understand it unless I'm experiencing it firsthand. But yeah, man, that's, that's something that I'll never understand unless I experience it firsthand is being blind. I have, I can't even comprehend what it's like to not be able to see anything, not even black. It's, it's weird. It's very weird. It's interesting though, which is why I suggest you go watch those blind videos. I haven't watched them in a while, but I might go back and watch them now that I just brought this up. What's an engaging YouTube podcast that you can listen to while doing busy work? Once again, it's, it's the Smith Squad podcast. That's my favorite podcast ever for sure. Better than like Joe Rogan and all those people, I think. I mean, probably an unpopular opinion, but I mean, I just love how chilly is, how unprofessional he is. It's good stuff. Smith Smith Squad podcast on iTunes, podcasts, and YouTube, and everything. Just go check it out. It's good stuff. What's the number one gamer national anthem? It's got to be the Minecraft song. Either Sweden. Honestly, like any of the Minecraft songs can make that. Wet Hands, Mice on Venus. Probably just the, the good old Minecraft song, though. That's got to be the gamer national anthem. Gamer National Anthem. I don't know what else it could possibly be, to be honest. I really don't. Oh, let's see. What is your absolute fave song in your native one? No, that ain't it. What saved your life? I don't really know, man. I'm not I'm not deep like that. I don't know, man. Huh. What's the stupid... Wow, God, I've already answered all these last week. Dang it. Oh, man, this is going to be a terrible episode. I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> People have read it. Why are you gay? What are the questions on this? Not so much by girl, but all right. Now there's not many answers on that. Wow. Hmm. Oh, I'm really choking right now. Dang it! I'm disappointed. Anyway, wow. Tough. I would judge. All right, you're on you're on the FBI's top five most wanted list. Your job is to avoid capture for one whole year to win ten million dollars. What do you do? Uh, Greenland, man, it's always got to be Greenland. If you ever want to hide, you just got to go to Greenland or like the top of Canada, and just go sit out in the middle of nowhere. God, that's what you got to do. That, that's actually what you got to do, man. What's one thing you wish you could tell your thirteen year old self? <sighs> Man, it always just comes back down to enjoy the moments where you got them. But what grade was I in, in third when I was thirteen, like seventh? Yeah, because I got a brother who's in seventh. Yeah. Oh, if I go back to my seventh grade self, man, my seventh grade self was just vibing, dude. That was that was such a good year. I mean, once again, I just tell them all the sports teams that are gonna win, so you go make money doing that, and then I just tell them to enjoy the moment. Oh, dude, that's Black Ops Three, dude. <laughs> if I could go back in time to the Black Ops Three days, that was just, that would just be a vibe. That would be absolutely incredible. That's absolutely awesome. <sighs> hmm. Wow. I'm really dying out here. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, I'm very disappointed in myself. Huh. <laughs> well, this is just, I'm leaving you on hold here, aren't I? Wow, that's pathetic. <sighs> All right. Well, I really don't, like I said, I got to push this out for another 30 minutes. How am I going to do it? Wow. Like, I could go back and just restate everything like I've done four times already, but that would just be pathetic. And like I say, man, I'm just trying to improve doing these things, and as you can see, we're not good yet, so we're, we're trying to get better on it. We're trying. <sighs> this is why I need to be more prepared. The thing about the podcast is I go, like, the whole week knowing that the podcast is this big thing that I should probably prepare for because talking for an hour is so long and trying to keep people entertained for an hour is so long. And then I, <laughs> I don't start writing it any ideas down until like a couple hours before I'm doing the podcast or like literally right before I'm doing the podcast I'll just write down a couple bullet points and hope I make something happen and I gotta understand I'm not the person who does that I need to have a nice list to go off when I'm talking through the podcast otherwise I'm gonna be absolutely dying 
I've been down for the last like eight minutes now because I, I've ran out of things to say. And it's it's difficult. It is very, very difficult. But we're improving, hopefully. And yeah, we're not really showing it in this episode. But the thing about like the last episode, I just sat and we just did Ask Reddit for an hour. And I swear it was the quickest hour that the podcast has ever been. And now I'm just sitting here 35 minutes in exactly. And now the time just ticks by so slow. But that's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. So yeah, man. All right, let's go. Let's go back and ask credit. What's your daily routine nowadays? Wow. Oh wow, dude, my daily routine is actually pathetic. <laughs> it's not very much activity. Uh, I'll probably wake up, dude. Oh, probably wake up at like ten. Go to bed at like two. Wake up at like ten. Go to like two classes a day. My online school really isn't that intense. Like meeting face to face like I look on TikTok and I see all these just epic zoom calls of just like people roasting each other and going off and funny green screens and like like we have a little bit of that in our school but like we really we really don't our, our zoom calls just aren't lit we just we actually have to pay attention it's it's just it could be so much better we're really missing out <laughs> they could be way more fun but anyways yeah I go to a couple zoom calls eat some lunch eat some dinner and make a YouTube video and yeah that, I really don't do that much these days wow <laughs> It really is a simple life, especially when we're encouraged to do absolutely nothing because of China. It's all China's fault. <laughs> mm, let's see. Which mean of transportation do you enjoy the most? Train or airplane? <laughs> Bro. I mean, obviously you have to say airplane because airplane's the fastest, and that's that's what you want when you're trying to transport. You want quick but airplanes are scary, man. Airplanes are scary. Like, there's a lot of people who are afraid of flying. Like, the thing about flying is, oh, I forgot. Am I more scared? I'm more scared of takeoff. Is takeoff more scary than landing? Takeoff is definitely scary. Cause every time I try to, I take off in a plane, I always think I'm I'm gonna run out of runway every single time. We're just gonna run into like a fence and then just blow up. <laughs> That's the thought that goes through my mind every time. But yeah. I, Definitely an airplane is the best, but I i don't know if I ever rode a train, so I think I'm going to go with a train. A train is the coolest way of transportation just because I've never done it. And, like, I want to ride a train someday. That would, that would be so much fun, I think. Like like an actual train, not like not like a, a shuttle thing around like an airport or nothing. I just want to ride like a train, man. I just want to ride a train and go vibing on a train. That would be awesome. Students are Reddit, why do you enjoy online schooling? Why or why not? Do I enjoy online schooling? I really don't enjoy online schooling. Like, even though I have all this time to start making YouTube videos, and it's, like, so easy to make a video a day because I have, like, so much free time in a day, I really hate it because it's it's so boring. It's the exact same thing every day, and I just want to go back to go back to school, man. I want to have track season. Like, the thing about track, I feel like track is just that sport, that track and field is just the sport that everybody hates on. Everybody's like, why are we here? Runners, anyway. The throwers just eat pizza and watch us run laps around them. But like, as a runner, I feel like everybody before the race were like, oh, wow, we hate this. Why are we doing this? Why do we do this to ourselves? But it's just one of them sports, man. Like, it's it's actually awesome. And now that I don't have it, I really miss it. Oh, man. I really, I really just want to, I want to run track, man. I want to run. I hate running so much, but I need track. <laughs> it really is a good time, man. God dang it. That's a sad time. It really is sad times, man. All because of China. It's China's fault. Uh, was that was that the why do we enjoy online schooling question? Is that, is that how, where that got to? I like it because I have a lot of free time. And the assignments are like relatively easy. I can get them all done in like one day. Like last week I thought the teachers were handing out the absolute just mags of homework. The mags means a lot of homework. And then I just got it all done in like five, six hours. And I was like, oh, that wasn't that bad. A full a full week of work in like five, six hours. That, that's, not, that's not that bad. <laughs> but yeah. So online schooling is... Overall, it's not good because I just, even though I'm like an introvert, I, I do enjoy getting out of the house. I, I want to go to school. I want to go to track. I want to, I want to do things, <laughs> but unfortunately everything's going to be shut down. It's probably going to be like this for the rest of the year now because it's kind of out of hand. It's just a rip, rip everything. It really is just a rip. How do you prepare or eat leftover pizza, man? You just reheat it and you just eat it. What is the life has censored not once to be successful? What odd things do you do to go to sleep fast? I really don't know. I don't really try to. I wish I could go to sleep fast. Like, there's people out there that they can just close their eyes and just go to sleep in two seconds. I wish I had that ability, but I really don't. 
Is there, what's the most normal illegal thing? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> if you could choose any historical figure to knee in the groin besides Hitler, who would it be? <laughs> what are the answers? I would say like Stalin, Bin Laden, yes. Absolutely. Trump. <laughs> These are actually hilarious. I love I love people. I love comment sections. People are hilarious, man. TikTok comment sections, Reddit comment sections, everything, man. Memes are awesome. It's it's so much fun. It's so funny. Nobody absolute nobody absolute nobody actually believes in absolute freedom of speech. What are some things you believe are okay to censor? That's a pretty declarative statement. You've got that bad. I mean, I believe in complete like people can say whatever they want. How does one get to Sesame Street? <laughs> So buttons on your eyes. Well, you need a sunny day. Oh, Sesame Street, that's memories, man. That's that's memories. What's the cringiest thing you've posted on the internet? I mean, I have a lot of dancing videos. Oh my, I made a Call of Duty Black Ops zombie song once. Oh my god, that, I don't even find that cringy though. Like, I don't regret posting. I have like hot shot videos, like basketball trick shot videos that I sing in and dance in. Oh. Okay, I have this really old video of me dancing to Gangnam Style. That's pretty cringy. I would, that's one of the videos that, you know, at the end of the day, man, I don't regret anything. I don't regret, like, I'm happy that I have videos of me from, like, seven, seven years ago dancing to Gangnam Style. Like, I'm happy I have that. Like, it's really cringy. People will laugh at me. They'll pull them up and laugh at it. And I just got to laugh with them, even though I'm really embarrassed. But, like, at the end of the day, man, I'm happy that I have those videos because I can look back at my, at my, like, 11 12 year old self any time of the day and it's it's so cool man it's so awesome like literally youtube is a time machine like we all want a time machine youtube is basically a time machine man like it's not physical but you can you can, you can see the you can see the past you can go back a long ways in youtube there's so much stuff on youtube anything you want you can find on youtube it's it's a time machine man it's incredible i love it the cringiest internet meme what do we got a simp shaggy's power Indian Joker. The shag he's hating on the Shaggy's power meme. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the best post you've seen on Reddit? I don't all these ask credits are very good posts. I enjoy them. If you could tell you uh, no. What would you have said to yourself ten years ago, man? I was like how old am I right now? I was like seven years ago, ten years ago. So my, my seven-year-old self probably wouldn't listen to my advice. He'd probably be like, oh, <laughs> nice. Now I'm going to go back to playing with action figures. What did I do when I was seven? Did I, was that Super Mario Galaxy? I wonder what I, I wonder what games I played when I was seven. It was probably like GTA San Andreas. <laughs> it, it honestly probably was something like that, which doesn't sound very good, but it, it was probably like GTA, which is terrible that I was exposed to GTA at like seven years old, but it, it was a fun game. I used to love it. <laughs> What redditors of Reddit? What is the closest thing you've ever come to intentionally or unintentionally killing someone? I used to have to. Oh yeah, I've probably almost ran into somebody and killed them. I don't know. I am. I don't know. My good driver. I think I'm a pretty decent driver. But yeah, I've probably almost like killed somebody. I'm pretty sure I've like pulled out in front of a lot of people. You know, I had to go, man. I had to go. What's the great way of lightening the mood in a funeral? I don't know, man. I'm not the one to speak at funerals. I just, I just, I just sit there, man. I'm not the one to start conversations at funerals at sad times. Like, uh, oh, man, I, like, I don't even die at funerals. The thing that kills me the most at funerals is, like, watching other people just be depressed. It really hurts, man. It really hurts. That's what makes me feel terrible is the people that have to live with the death, and it just, oh, it's not good stuff. Smokers of Reddit, what do cigarettes taste like? They taste like crap. <laughs> Relief. <laughs> people are so funny. I love it. Without saying its name, what is your favorite color? Orange. <laughs> the phrase my <laughs> the phrase my grandfather always answers the phone with for his favorite color, yellow. <laughs> oh my god, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. I love this. If you had to travel back to one date within five years of today, which one would it be and why? One date only? Wow, dude. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> one date only. Oh, it'd probably... Huh. That's tough. I'd probably just go back to the lake. Just me sitting out on the jet ski just vibing, man. That's a good time. 
I'd go back to the lake. That's a very weird answer, but that's, I'd go back to someday where I was at the lake, just vibing out on the jet ski, listening to music. That's good stuff. What's your thoughts on other social media platforms besides Reddit and YouTube? YouTube is amazing. Reddit is amazing. I've recently gotten into Discord, and I love Discord so much. Like, we just opened the Discord server tonight. I hop on the Discord server. We were having conversations with God. <laughs> we were talking to God on Discord. So Discord is awesome. YouTube's awesome. Reddit's awesome. TikTok. I'm starting to not watch as many TikToks as I once did, but TikTok is still hilarious, even though I'm pretty sure they steal our, all of our information and stuff, But because they're Chinese. The Chinese really are... I don't know, man. Chinese are just, they're sketchy. Like, not Chinese people, but the country of China is just sketchy, man. Let's see, where am I? Twitter. Oh, I hate Twitter so much, dude. I absolutely hate Twitter. Like, Nacho was talking. <laughs> My friend was telling me we should start a Twitter for your YouTube channel. And I was like, what's the point, man? Twitter is so dumb. All there is is hate on there. Like, I go on anybody's tweet, anybody, anything. And there's just, there's like one good tweet, like one good reply about whatever they said. And the rest are just absolutely terrible. Hating on them, calling them a terrible piece of human scum. And just, like, it's so, oh, Twitter is just terrible. And I think PewDiePie, like, deleted his Twitter. And I really respect that. Because, like, a big influencer just getting rid of their Twitter and realizing all the hate that's on that app and how just terrible it is. Because all Twitter is just people have, like, three-second ideas and then they just go post them. And they're just terrible thoughts. And it's... I hate it so much. I just go on there sometimes to get a laugh, though. Like, I don't go on Twitter really at all. I pretty much just go ch ch check, see what Trump's saying, and see what people say about it. It's really funny. <laughs> but, yeah, man. So I hate Twitter. Instagram, I don't know. Instagram's whatever. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, one of their social media platforms, rather. I don't really use anything else, I don't think. Facebook is for the boomers. Yeah, man. Social media, is it good? Is it bad? It's both for me. Is it more helpful? I think it is. I think it's more helpful than it is terrible for us, but it's definitely bad for us as well. But yeah, what happened to Five Nights at Freddy's? That's a game that I never even played. When was that big? Like 2015? Wow. Five Nights at Freddy's. That was a big... Why was that such a big thing at one point? Did you just sit in like rooms and get jump scared? I must be missing another piece of my childhood there. I never played Five Nights at Freddy's, I don't think. like Maybe I did, but I never got into it to know what, like, what, what I was actually doing. But yeah, that was a big thing. What industry is completely unaffected right now? What do people say for this? News media industry? Yeah, that's right, man. The news, they got, they've got got a whole bunch of stuff to report on right now. They are completely unaffected. The military? Yeah, they're affected. Everybody's affected, man. Like, it's, it's affected literally everybody. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. What grinds your gears? <laughs> you copying the guy. What grinds my gears? Yeah, the, I don't know, man. There's there's many things. I I just I'll just no, I'll just no. If Reddit wasn't called Reddit, what would it be called? Blew it. Saw it. <laughs> Blew it. That's kind of funny. Reddit. <laughs> John. <God. laughs> How would you explain each color to a blind person? <sighs> that is very difficult. How would you explain color to a blind person? All right. For black, you got to be like just dark. All right. So you're thinking of black. Just picture dark. Can blind people picture dark? I don't know. Do blind people know what dark is? I don't know. That's the questions we need to be asking first, besides before we try to describe color to them. Like, if I had no sense of any color palette, like, that'd be so weird. Oh, my God, dude. Like, losing sight, I think, would be, like, the worst thing. Like, I could lose an arm. I could lose, like, a leg. But, like, losing sight, that would be terrible. I would hate that. And, like, respect anybody who grinds that out. That's awesome, man. Oh, blind people, I really just can't comprehend like what you guys see it's incredible and it's just one of those things i wouldn't know unless i had it and let's see if i explain white i would all right so the color white i would say it's bright black i'd say dark and then the rest it would just get very very difficult from there i couldn't explain like red to a blind person because i can't say like the color of a fire truck because they wouldn't know the color of a fire truck so it, it would be a struggle what do people say about that i kind of want to see this this is what the color red feels like stab jesus by associating them with emotions. Would that even do anything? Like, are right, you feeling sad? That's blue. Like, that That really doesn't help at all. <laughs> that doesn't help them at all. What's the most noteworthy interaction you've had with an online stranger? Yeah, I, do. I found a lot of, like, awesome people through YouTube already. Like, a couple of them. And, like, we've just had interactions. 
and like we found them that were very similar we have very differences we can we talk about like like our youtube strategies our plans like i found a couple awesome people already off youtube it's it's awesome and that's one of the good things about the internet it really just combines us and it's so easy to communicate to people like i'll just join a live stream i'll be like hey can i play with you i'm just a random person out there in the world hey can i play with you 15 seconds later all right there, there's an invite sent to you we can now play we can talk we can chat to anybody in the world who has internet connection it's it's absolutely crazy What's your favorite thing to do to keep you occupied during these hard times? Yeah, I just... Uh, so school really passes the time. Video editing really passes the time. Playing basketball indoors, outdoors. Yeah, I really don't do that much stuff, man. But yeah, that's what keeps me occupied. It's definitely video editing. But yeah, it, that, that, that takes up so much time. All right, let's see. Keep on going. Are a lot of people being too soft, soft, weak-willed, easily offended in the 21st century? Absolutely, Ben. People, people think people take things so personally nowadays, and I, I hate it so much, Ben. We just can't take jokes anymore. Like comedy's dying because you make fun of a group of people, and automatically you're just racist, and everybody's, yeah, it's so stupid. Like you can't talk about anybody, otherwise you're just racist, you're misogynist, you're xenophobic, homophobic. What other word is there? I don't even know, man. I don't even know, but you're just all of them. If you say one thing, you're just all of them. Like, I was watching this video, this YouTuber dude, he was doing, like, a review on, like, a zombies map, and he was relating it to, like, misogyny, and I was like, what? Bro, it's COD zombies, man. It's it's COD zombies, bro. It's COD zombies. We don't need to bring in politics into COD zombies. That's the other thing, man. People are just trying to bring politics into everything. Like, I could, I could build, like, a black house in Minecraft. People would be like, you're racist. And I'd be like, man, I'm just trying to play Minecraft, man. I don't, just keep the politics out, please. People over at what's your favorite meme? Moth memes. Shame they died. The Legend 27 meme. Oh my god, dude, that's 2015, 2016. Here come that boy. That was very cash money of you. No, I hate that. My favorite meme, though? I don't know, man. It, there's way too many. There's way too many to pick, bro. There's way too many to pick. The troll face is just, he's the best thing ever. He, he's, still, he's still relevant. The troll face is still relevant, man. You could throw the troll face up, people will... It's still relevant. It'll work. It's a little old, but people will accept it. <laughs> what are you most worried about going into this week? There's really not many things to worry about nowadays, I guess, for me anyway. If you're like the president or somebody who who's in charge of an entire country now with during a pandemic, I mean, that'd be pretty stressful. But for me, man, I'm just get school work done, get a video uploaded every day, and grow the channel, man. That worries me that my channel's just going to stop growing at some point. Oh, that really worries me. Wow. I've, I kind of had that thought today too. Like, I feel like I've, oh, I kind of had that feeling today. Like the channel was slowing down. Like not that, it, I don't think it was, but I had this feeling like, oh man, people are starting to lose interest in my channel. Everything's going downhill. And I just, I'm so, like my emotions switch so quickly. Like one second I'm like, oh, I hated making that video so much. Oh, my channel's dying. Then I upload the video and you guys give it like awesome, a great a number, a great amount of likes, great amount of views, and I'm like, oh, okay, well maybe maybe that video wasn't so bad, maybe that was fun. I don't know, man. My my emotions are just up and down constantly with YouTube, and it's so, it's not steady at all. Which is why I have this new respect for like people who do YouTube for a living because it's it's not a steady, not a steady thing at all. It's it's constantly changing. It's so difficult. It's weird. It's really weird, and oh, it's it's so weird, man. But yeah, that's I'm worried that my YouTube channel will die. That would be terrible. But I think if I just keep grinding, you guys will keep coming back, which is awesome. Absolutely crazy. And getting my schoolwork done, I, I've i always just been the A, the A plus student. If I don't get all A's, I'm going to be disappointed in myself. I already know. But the thing is, I was so quick to come up with excuses already. I told myself, all right, if you don't get all A's this semester, it's because of the coronavirus. Why did I come up with that excuse? That's complete crap. I can get it done. I just, like, if you just grind, like, an hour a day into schoolwork, I could probably get absolutely everything done. I don't know why I don't do that. It's weird, man. But yeah, get schoolwork done. Upload a video every day. Hopefully the channel doesn't die. Those are the main things that that I want to that I worry about this week, really. All right. What job do you do that? A job that you like, but there's a lot of stupid part. I really I don't really I haven't really I've never really had a job. I just I've been I was born into the family of family farmers. I got to work on the family farm. My dad says you're living under my roof. You're working on my farm, so the physical labor part of farming isn't very much fun. People say farming's just sitting in tractors and stuff, but like, no way, man. Something's broke down at least every day, every other day. 
and you got it, it it's not easy to fix things i don't have that kind of mind though the mechanical inclined mind i do not have i wish i had but no what's your favorite show right now i don't even watch tv what is my favorite show? i don't watch tv at all like i've just if i ever watch tv it's usually just like i sit down with my family we watch like an old nickelodeon show or something like iCarly or something victorious drick or josh that's really it i don't watch any other tv i refuse to watch the news because like the thing about the news is man whatever news station you turn on that's that's the content you're gonna want to hear it's all so biased nowadays if i turn on cnn i'm gonna trump sucks if i turn on fox news trump's great i mean i just don't even listen to the news anymore i just listen to ben shapiro that's it i think ben shapiro is a pretty pretty a pretty liberal pretty like in the middle person i mean he's more conservative definitely but that's what i listen to for my for my news and i barely ever even listen to him really what was that was on favorite show yeah so i don't really watch tv at all but yeah is it possible to buy bees to eat? And if so, where can you get them? Oh no, that goes against the whole bee movie. No. You. You. <laughs> That's such a weird answer. That's such a weird question. All right. How does one know if they are racist, even if they don't think they are or realize they are? What the heck, dude? This. Uh, all right. What's your favorite Donald Trump quote? Oh my god. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. China. <laughs> Billions in <laughs> You know what? Uranium is right. <laughs> I love comments. I love them so much. <laughs> Thank you, Com Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. That was that's iconic. That's gotta be an awesome quote. You'd be in jail quote. Wrong. China. The China quote. That's good stuff. Uh, hmm. how would you want to die man how would I want to die I just well preferably like in my sleep that would just I think that would be the most peaceful way to go hopefully not a painful death that would suck that would really suck like the people who were like tortured to death that would be oh my god that would be terrible but yeah man if I'm going to die I want it to be like peaceful hopefully and if I do die, I don't like want people to be sad for me. Like I'm, I'm gonna be vibing if I die. I'm religious. I'm gonna be vibing if I'm dying. Like there's no need to feel sad for me. But yeah, man, if I die, I want it to just be peaceful in my sleep. I don't want to be like tortured. That'd be terrible. Yeah, man, there's a lot of bad people out there. Jesus, it's it's weird. All right, what TV show do you often find yourself quoting? Um, I do quote TV shows a lot, but it just comes up to me on the moment. I don't really think about it, so I don't, I don't know. Animals can talk. What will be the first thing your pet will say to you? Oh, no. <laughs> My pet's dead. He got ran over. One of them did. I had a, I got a cat when I was like seven, and then he ran away and found a mate, and then they came back and have some, had, some, had some children, and they all died. And one of them got ran over, <laughs> and then we buried him out back. So he'd probably say some profanity and give me the middle finger or something. <laughs> That's, that's the first thing one of these people say. Get off my bed. <laughs> that's good stuff. If when we die, we are shown a leaderboard of everything we've ever done, how many times, what would be your most interesting stat? All right, so if I die and I'm shown a leaderboard of everything that I've ever done, wow, dude, wow. That is, what do people say to this? Zero restarts. After number <laughs> After number of times I microwave a cup of coffee before finishing it. How many words I've said? Oh, that would be an awesome stat to know. How many words I've said? How many? How many? How many steps I've taken? That would be that would be a crazy number. Wow. Yeah, but how many words I've said? That'd be that'd be an awesome stat. That's that's what it's got to be. Yeah, man, that's incredible. <laughs> in forty years, what will people be nostalgic for? Is COD going to be going in 40 years? Are we going to have 40 CODs in a row here? I mean, I'm going to be nostalgic for, like, Minecraft. Do you, do you think Minecraft can stay relevant for 40 more years? <laughs> I mean, we're probably going to have, like, Minecraft 4 by then, but I'm going to be nostalgic for Minecraft, Call of Duty, Mario games. I can't even imagine 40 years. I'm going to be so old. Oh, my God. That's that's such a crazy thought. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> Dang it. 
it's a sad fact to accept. But you know what? We can't stop time, so we just got to enjoy it, man. I'm already about ready to graduate, so yeah. We just got to enjoy time. What's coming? Let's see. What do we have here? 50, 59 minutes and 45 seconds? All right. One more or no? Let's see, dude. Wow, I really feel like this was not a very good episode. All right, well, we'll end it right there. Yeah, we'll stop S credit. We'll just finish it out. We'll get up to an hour and one minute, which is, once again, I'm a perfectionist. That's what it's got to be. This episode, man, I thought it was decent for the first 20 minutes, but then I ran out of ideas, and then I stuttered and hesitated for like five minutes, and then I kind of just got back into ass credit, which is really boring, I know, because I did that the entire last episode, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man, I'll be, next, well, next week I have a guest on, so it should be easy to go for an hour, I think I'm gonna have a guest on, I'm like 95% sure, so it should be easy to go for an hour then with a guest, because then you can talk about like everything, but I'm really, the hardest thing, man, I'm having a hard time coming up with like more content in these podcasts, I already feel like I've covered like everything. And it's only been like five, six episodes. I mean, this is the fifth episode, but it's really the sixth episode. But it's the fifth episode. All right. But yeah, I'm really I'm really struggling. But I'm enjoying it. It's fun. And I think I'm getting better even on this episode. I think it was a little bit more of a letdown. I think the third episode was my best solo episode. But this one, this one's probably second. But yeah. Anyways, what do we what do we discuss today? I'm, I have a new respect for YouTubers because YouTube is so, so unsteady. And I can feel their, their like anxiety when they upload a video to see how good it is and see how it gets reviewed <sighs> yeah man i see it and maybe an upload schedule coming soon time management i gotta learn how to manage time well once i get back into a normal rhythm of things <sighs> many things man many things anyways <sighs> it's been spinify podcast episode number five i'm a little disappointed in this episode but you know what it's all good because you know what i already know i'm gonna listen to this whole thing someday and i'm gonna enjoy it because you know what it's me from like a year ago talking and I want as much content as I can get. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be a guest, once again, leave a comment down below. Check out the Discord. Thank you guys so much. 300 subscribers. Let's go, dude. That's incredible. But once again, I'm motivated to keep going, keep grinding. Thank you guys so much. It's currently 1230. Let's go get some sleep. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching and listening. Not really watching, but see ya. <laughs>